Hey everyone, it's Logan from SWCPL. If you had the chance to pick up an activity sheet from the library this week, then you know that we are working on ghost stories, which you could also see up here on the whiteboard. So before we get started making our own ghost story, I'm gonna read one to you. And this comes from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. Um, this is a super popular book, it's a classic. Um, you might have seen the movie that just came out recently. And this one is called The Guests. A young man and his wife were on a road trip to visit his mother. Usually, they arrived in time for supper, but they'd gotten a late start, and now it was getting dark. So they decided to look for a place to stay over and go on in the morning. Just off the road, they saw a small house in the woods. Maybe they rent rooms, the wife said. So they stopped to ask. An elderly man and woman came to the door. They didn't rent rooms, they said, but they would be glad to have them stay overnight as their guests. They had plenty of room and they would enjoy the company. The old woman made coffee and brought out some cake and the four of them talked for a while. Then the young couple were taken to their room. They again explained that they wanted to pay for this, but the old man said they would not accept any money. The young couple got up early the next morning before their hosts had awakened. On a table near the front door, they left an envelope with some money in it for the room. Then they went on to the next town. They stopped in a restaurant and had breakfast. When they told the owner where they had stayed, he was shocked. That can't be, he said. That house burned to the ground, and the man and the woman who lived there died in the fire. The young couple could not believe it, so they went back to the house. Only now, there was no house. All they found was a burned out shell. They stood staring at the ruins, trying to understand what had happened. Then the woman screamed. In the rubble was a badly burned table, like the one they had seen at the front door. On the table was the envelope they had left in the morning. All right, so that was a nice short ghost story. You can choose to write one that's short like that, or you can make it longer and flesh it out. Even if you want to write um, a novel out of it, that would be awesome. So on your activity sheet this week, you've got some information here on the front, and then on the back is a graphic organizer to help you get started. We're gonna work through some of the elements that are on the graphic organizer, and you can choose to write your story based off of what I help you get started on today, or you can come up with everything on your own. That would be awesome too. And I cannot wait to see what you all come up with. Even if you all follow this, you're gonna to have totally different stories, and I'm so excited to read them. So when you get done, be sure to bring them into the library because I cannot wait to see them. So the first thing that you need for a ghost story, or really for any story, is a setting. You need to know where this story is taking place. In a ghost story, you could choose something classically spooky, like a haunted house, or you could choose something like a school, or the grocery store, and something that we don't really think of as spooky, but you can kind of twist it and make it scary. So for my setting, I kind of went along with um, the story that I just read from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, but put my own twist on it. So I chose a desert highway motel. So somewhere out in the desert, a long, a long highway with nothing around it, but just desert. And it's, maybe it's two in the morning, and it's a very quiet night. A lot of times when we think of ghost stories, we think of maybe uh, a spooky night with thunder and lightning, but I chose to maybe kind of make it seem like a normal night. It's just in the middle of the night on any given night. Then you're gonna need characters and you wanna make sure that your characters are relatable to the reader and that we are rooting for those characters to make it through the story. So I chose a family driving across the country. I think most of us can relate to being on a road trip with our families, right? And then the third thing is 
the mystery in the story. So maybe you're choosing to just head, head, go head first into this story um, with the scares, and these people already know there's a ghost. And maybe they're trying to figure out what that ghost wants so it'll stop haunting them. Or they're trying to figure out how to get out of this haunted house. Something that's driving the story. So for mine, I decided that this family, everything's been good in their stay, but you know, now it's the middle of the night and they're, they get waken up by the ice machine banging. They hear phantom knocks on the door. So something's knocking on the door, but when they look out the peephole, there's no one there. They hear voices in the hallway, but maybe they're the only family checked into this motel and they don't know what's making these voices. So the mystery in this story is what is happening? Is this place haunted? And then they'll find out. Then on your graphic organizer, it'll have some more stuff. The next one is emotion. So you are writing a ghost story, so you want this to be scary. You want to bring out that emotion of fear. And you're going to do that by putting your characters into this scary situation and making the reader relate to them. And then finally, you need plot. So you need a beginning, a middle, and an end. You want to start it out, get everything settled with your setting and introducing your characters. Then you're going to have that rising action of things escalating. It gets spookier and spookier and spookier until you hit the climax. And then you have that falling action until the resolution or the end of the story. So maybe at the end, they figure out what they need to do to get rid of the ghost. They figure out how to get out of that haunted house. They, they solve whatever that mystery is. So I hope this helps you get started on writing your very own ghost story. And like I said before, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. And I, I hope you'll share it with me. So before I go, I want to talk to you about a few books. So like I said, we have Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. And you can stop and get this in the middle grade section at the library. Another book similar with lots of different stories in it is Scream and Scream Again, which is edited or compiled by R.L. Stein, who wrote all of those amazing Goosebumps stories, if you remember those. So this has got a ton of different writers who put their own spin on some ghost stories. And finally, if you want something maybe spooky but not with ghosts, we've got Five Nights at Freddy's into the pit. So this is the first book in a series based off of that video game that I'm sure you've heard of and maybe some of you really like it. So I hope you will check out some of those books and I hope you'll share your ghost stories with us. Stay spooky. We'll see you next week. Bye.